I'm Elle. I'm the Keystone Stitcher. Today is an extra bonus video for you. I thought I would share with you how I set goals in order to achieve finishes in the year and how I'm changing things up to make sure that I've built enough flexibility in that I can still touch other things and not have pieces neglected while I do those finishes. So for 2023, I had picked out five projects that I wanted to finish. They were all full coverage and it pretty much would have taken the entire month. So I decided to eliminate one, but three of those were gifts. So I thought, okay, I'll finish the three gifts and then I'll have one for myself. That's kind of my bonus, my treat, but I wanted to get the gifts done and out of the way. That took a lot of stitching. For example, my one piece, I had 101,000 stitches still to do in that one piece, and I finished it the end of August. It was the last of my projects that I wanted to finish, but it still took me a long time. And then by the time I hit September, I didn't want to focus on anything. I felt burned out. So this year I've changed it up. I've built in some days of flexibility, and I thought you might enjoy hearing how my mind worked and and knowing maybe somebody else's perspective and maybe you can build pieces of this in for you and help you achieve your goals. I'm not a pro. I changed this up. Most recently, the way that I plan my goals is because of Pattern Keeper. I don't count my stitches. I never have. I don't find that an enjoyable part of the hobby but I really enjoy the Pattern Keeper does that for me. So the first thing that I do is I go through and I count, I don't count, I, I calculate how many stitches are left on that project. And then because Pattern Keeper counts my stitches for me, I now know how many stitches I can feasibly do in a day. For me, my average stitch count is approximately 1,000 stitches. And I know that's high for a lot of you, um, but I, I have a lot of free time. I have a lot of uh, downtime. I use it um, when I'm tired, when I, I just physically can't do other things. I sit down and I recuperate with my stitching. And then once I've had that time to relax, then I can get up and do other things. So I do have a lot of time built in. Okay, so now what do I do? I take the number of stitches left in the project, according to Pattern Keeper, and I divide that by the approximate number of stitches that I can do. So let's say it's 100,000, I can do 1,000, that means I need to do 10,000. 10,000 is a lot to do in a month, and that's where I would get burned out. So I went and pulled out several of my pieces and I looked at what was their stitch count and how many stitches would I need to do in a month. Now, once I know the stitch count, you know, for example, I know I need to do 10,000 stitches. Now I know how many days I would need 10 days. So I pulled one, two, three, four, five, six. I pulled six originally. And once I calculated how many days I would need to complete each of those six, it came to just about 40 days, <laughs> not happening. So that meant if I want some flexibility in my month, and I know that there are going to be days, things that come up where I don't get to stitch, I need that flexibility so I can have a catch up day here and there. I'm not going to over schedule my entire month. And to show you what I mean, so here is a page from, is this one? Let me show you. I've got, so this is just, I just opened this book. So here's a page of the month and you can see this day and this day. I just kind of circled them and there's nothing written on those days. Those two days are days that I can do anything I want. Or those are days that I can play catch up. Um, the ones that you can see they've kind of been blocked off. Those are ones that I intend to finish this year. Other ones, well, that one's actually blocked off too, but there's other ones that I can change. Now I can erase this. I, I use one of my friction pens so I can erase. 
So for example, this project right here for these three days is not one that I want to finish. So if I'm not in the mood for that, I can erase that and I can put in something else that I'm in the mood for. And so that's kind of, but I, but I know I want to see some progress on that particular project. So I'd like to touch it a few times throughout the year. Okay, so now that you kind of know what I was looking to finish, let's talk about, or now that you know what I, how I was doing that. Boy, I don't have a plan for this. I just decided I'm going to pull these projects, show you what I'm going to finish, kind of talk you through it. I have no notes for myself other than the stitch counts so that I can tell you what they were. So let me just say, this one is one that a lot of people really like, and this one will come out because I love it. But if I wanted to finish this, I would need to work on this for 15 days out of the month. <laughs> so this will come out frequently so that I can set this up for a finish in 2025. So you will see a lot of this only for that reason. It will not be finished. The next one is one that took a priority and I've got this gorgeous fabric that I dyed myself. I'm not sure how the lighting is showing it. And I'm putting Pokemon on. So this is Pokemon. This is a piece that my grandson asked me to stitch for him. And since his sister got a large giant full coverage this year, I wanted to get this done as soon as possible for him. In order to finish that one, that needs to have, I'm trying to find my note card. Here we go. I need to work on that one for five days every single month. Now, the projects I'm gonna show you that I need to finish, I need five, 11, I should have counted this. I need 23 days. Okay, so 23 days out of the month are pretty much scheduled for the pieces I want to finish. And that leaves me the rest of the time for anything I want. Okay, so Pokemon will be finished. It will be started at the end of December and then it will be finished. <sighs> Fingers crossed so I can give it to him on Christmas. The next one is one that I want to do for uh, a friend of mine. I told her that I would gladly stitch this. I bought it and I started stitching it. And then as we started talking, I told her that I would like to send her pictures when this is done so she could use it as a model stitch um, for her listings. And that is Stone Expressions. And so I'll put it over here. That is what that was. What, that's how it's supposed to look. And in order to finish Stone Expressions, I need six days out of every month. So this has quite a bit. So I need to do 6,000 stitches a month on this to finish it. But that will be nice to have done. So the next one is one that, it's my oldest piece and it will look like this. And that is where I am now. So this will get a little bit more work done in November, it probably won't be come out at all in December, maybe, but that's pretty much where it is. And I'm currently at 37.70%. I don't remember what all of them are, but I do remember this one. So that's my oldest and that will be finished. And then my oldest will be full coverage from heaven and earth moving forward. It will, but that one, needs a lot of work and that won't be done anytime soon. Okay, now this one is one that I have pulled out and I would like to finish it, but this will take me four days every month. And if I start feeling bogged down, this is for me, this is not a gift, and that is Promise of Tomorrow. So let me put it over here and then I'll put a picture of what it will look like. So that one, if I don't get this finished, so if this one doesn't get done, that's okay. It'll be so close to a finish that I will be able to finish it in 2025. And then finally, I have my Weaver's Tapestry because 
this shouldn't take that long. <laughs> okay, so this one here, I would need three days each month. And that's really nothing. Now, I've worked on this for three. I started this in September. I put two days in on it in September, three days in October, and two days in November. Yeah, November. And so I've already gone. Now, this is 502 stitches high. This is the entire width. It's 502 stitches high. And this top stitch right here, from here down, I have 152 stitches done. So if I could do that in, in three months, I can finish it. But yes, that one will need three months. So that's kind of how I do it. I pick, in this case, I've picked five. I know how many days I need to work on it each month. And I pick one of those five and say, okay, if I fell behind, if I had days I couldn't stitch, if I just, for whatever reason, I picked something else up and I didn't want to put it down. Let's say I pulled out strength and I didn't want to put it down and that put me behind. Then I will take one. In this case, it will be a promise of tomorrow. And I will set that aside knowing that I had great progress on it and it only needs a few more days. And I'll put that aside for early finish in the next year. That gives me my flexibility. That gives me that sense of accomplishment to have several finishes in the month, in the year, but not the pressure of, oh no, but I didn't finish all five. If I do, if I say I'm going to finish five, I am going to finish five, even if it ends up becoming a chore. So if I say I'm going to finish four, and then it'd be nice to finish five. Now I've eliminated all the pressure I put on myself. So that's how I do it. I have pretty much, I'm trying to see where I, I have pretty much done the entire year, kind of scheduled it out. And like I say, I do, I use my friction pens, you could use pencil, whatever. And that way I can erase any time that I need to switch it around. Now, same way, okay, just, Let's say that this project right here, this is Weaver's Tapestry, but I really feel like working on stone expressions. Well, that's here. I'll just erase and switch them. So I'm not walked into on this day, I have to stitch this for this long. I can move them around however I want, just so I get the same number of days in. So that's how I plan. I would love to know how you plan. So if you have any way anything special, anything really unique, please tell me. I'd love to know, and maybe I'll incorporate it in future years. Thanks. Bye.